You know, medical marijuana was supposed to get rid of a lot of illegal drug dealing. Yeah, WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo tonight with a look at the problems keeping patients from buying pot legally. Many patients say Ohio's medical marijuana program has had major issues since it began in 2016. Senate Bill 261 was written to fix that. It passed there and is now in the House. I was assaulted on my 15th birthday and uh, I had a blowout fracture on my left side, so I had to get a lot of work done on this side. Along with Anthony Riley's brain injury came post-traumatic stress disorder, which resulted in pain, inflammation, and anxiety. He started using medical marijuana when the program began. Riley says the marijuana helps his pain immensely, but as for the program... Definitely was a disappointing experience. Um, this wasn't a lot available, and the prices were just unbelievable. The people behind Senate Bill 261 say nearly half of the total patients have dropped out of the program. What I've already seen is several thousands of patients leave the program because they are really fed up with the prices, they're fed up with the quality of products, they're fed up with the lack of uh, interaction with the state as far as explaining things to them. The bill would make it easier for patients to get into the program. Jimmy Gold helped draft the 2016 law. And the real goal is to make it a more patient-centric legislation. It's not really legalizing marijuana because it's already legalized for medical use. It's really making the industry function better. Right now it's significantly cheaper and much easier for people to buy marijuana illegally. We're up against some really serious money. The illicit market in Ohio alone is $1.18 billion in the illicit market in Ohio. Supply is also a concern. This month, 70 new dispensaries were cleared to open, but if the supply issue isn't resolved, prices will only get higher. It's very frustrating if you're in this program in any meaningful way. Because of the process to make changes, even if the law passed in the House today, current patients will not see any meaningful improvements for at least another two and a half years. Taylor Nemo, WCPO 9 News.